In this unit, we're going to be looking at topics related to earning an income. In this lesson, we're going to look at deductions and net pay. Okay, everybody. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at deductions and net pay. And so, uh, this is the less fun part uh, about a discussion about making money, okay, and about working. So, your net pay is your take-home pay. Okay, so you go to work, you agree to that the employer is going to pay you a certain amount of money, maybe per hour or, or for the job or whatever. And yet, when you actually get the money, it's not what we agreed upon. And here's why. Because there are deductions that have applied or subtracted from your paycheck. Okay, there are things that you pay for that or that maybe the, the company pays for on your behalf before you get any, any of the money that you made. So gross pay is going to be your wages before taxes and other deductions. Your net pay is your wages after your taxes and other deductions. And so what your deductions are, just money that gets taken off your paycheck. It's taxes, it's union dues, it's, it's, there's other benefit programs. It kind of depends on, on what it is you're doing. So here's a handful of different deductions that you're going to come across here. Uh, the Canadian Pension Plan, the CPP. So this is a taxable benefit that replaces part of your income when you retire. So as a working Canadian, the CPP retirement pension will be provided for the rest of your life. You will get some money okay, after you retire, your CPP. Uh, employment insurance, like it says here, provides temporary income support while you look for work or while you cannot work. So if, if you're in a situation where for one reason or another you, you can't work, Okay, there's uh, a, a program in place to kind of help support you in that transition time. Health benefits, okay, health insurance. When you use a portion of your paycheck to pay for your health benefits program. So <clears throat> you, you would pay into a program so that when you go to the dentist, part or all of that uh, visit is covered, okay? Medical insurance, okay, disability insurance. The, there's lots of different things that could, be, that could be worked into that. Here's a fun one, federal and provincial income tax, okay? So taxes that the government collects, okay, and this can happen at the federal and provincial levels, uh, from its citizens to pay for things like like schools and roads, like the infrastructure. These are things that we need. Okay, we don't like paying for them, but we're happy to have them, and that's kind of the the balance there. But yeah, that that money there comes uh, from income tax largely. Uh, union dues. So a lot of a lot of jobs uh, require you to be part of a union. Okay, or you'll become part of a union, and there are are dues to be paid that they pay for the activities of the union. And so what happens here is when you get your paycheck, okay, here's a sample paycheck here, okay, John here, this is his paycheck uh, from, what is that, January 15th of 2010 to January 21st of 2010. He's got his uh, rate, $12 per hour for 80 hours, then overtime, 18 uh, hours at $10, uh, an, sorry, sorry, $18 an hour for 10 hours. So he should be earning $1,140. But they're taking off some income tax. They're going to take off a little bit for EI. They're going to take a little bit off for CPP. He pays some health insurance into the regular uh, registered pension plan and some union dues. And then there's a Canadian savings bond he's got arranged to take off a little bit of money uh, every paycheck there. So what he actually takes home is seven hundred ninety-six dollars and three cents. Okay. So, yeah, if you've never really experienced this or you never really paid attention to that, just note that even though we've spent a little bit of time here talking about the gross pay, what you'd get overall here, uh, in reality, what you end up being able to spend is less. Anyway, let's take a few moments here. We're going to take a look at at finding the deductions and then finding your net pay. Okay, so this question says, if the federal tax rate is 17%, how much is deducted from your $925 paycheck? Okay, so let's take a look at our tax here. It's going to be 17% of our paycheck here, so $925. So now remember, that is 17 over 100, or 0 0.17, multiplied by 925. So here we go, 0 0.17 times 925. So they are going to take off 
$157.25. That is what the government's going to take. Okay, let's take a look at another one. If your CPP rate, okay, is 4.5% and your salary is $2,475 biweekly, how much will be deducted from your paycheck? Okay, let's take a quick look. CPP is 4.5% of, and remember that implies multiplication, 2,475. So 4.5% is 4.5 over 100. So 0 0.045 multiplied by 2,475. And then that is a calculator work. 0 0.045 multiplied by 2,475. And we get $111.38. Is what they're going to pull off. So these are just percent calculations for the most part. Okay. So convert the percentage to the decimal and then multiply it by the gross pay. Okay. So now let's take a couple of uh, look at a couple of questions here where we're trying to figure out the net pay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the deductions from our gross income here. So here we go. Ben has a job that earns $450 per week, and he has dedu deductions of $41.13 in federal tax, $10.11 provincial tax, $18.09 in CPP, and $6.78 in EI. So what is his net pay? Okay, so his net is going to be his gross, that $450 minus, and so maybe we're going to put uh, parentheses about around this so that we can put all the tax together. So it's going to be $41.13 plus $10.11 plus $18, whoops, and $0.09 cents plus $6.78. Okay, so now we pull out the calculator. Let's have a look. So 450 minus 41.13 plus 10.11 plus 18.09, plus 6.78. And we get that his net pay, or what he's going to take home, is $373.89. Let's take a look at another one. Now in this one, sorry, I should just go back and say it. In this one, this one's a little bit more straightforward than the next one because this one here, I'm actually telling you the exact amounts that are, that are coming off his, his paycheck. So it's a little bit easier to do that. For this question here, we read that Margo has a job and earns $40,000 annually. What is her net pay if she pays 20% in income tax? So first of all, we want to figure out what, what that is. We want to figure out how much money we're taking off here. So we're going to figure out what 29% of multiplication, 40,000. So we're going to convert that to a decimal. Then we're going to multiply that. So 29%, so 0.29 times 40. So that's eleven thousand six hundred dollars. So now that's how much she's going to have taken off in tax. So her net pay will be her gross pay of forty thousand dollars minus the eleven thousand six hundred. Okay. So here we go. Forty thousand minus eleven thousand six hundred. And actually, Marco is actually going to take home $28,400. Okay, and there you go. Okay, now another kind of twist on this problem here is maybe, maybe you can see how much money is coming off in your deductions. Okay, but you're curious as to, well, what percentage uh, am I paying? Okay, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to try to figure that out here. So we're going to take the and figure out the tax rate given the income and the deductions as dollar amounts here. So, for example, Gabby paid $41.12 in EI deductions, okay, employment insurance. If her monthly income was $2,760, what is her EI rate? So let's write that down here. Our EI rate, okay, is going to be... Um, Basically, it's going to be this this percentage of the whole here, so it's going to be the deductions over the over the gross here. Okay, so let's say deductions over the gross, and so that's going to be forty one twelve 
over the 2760. So, pull out the calculator here. 4112 divided by 2760. Okay, and we're getting 0 0.014. Four. Okay, and you know what? That's going to round. Let's round that approximately 0 0.015. Okay, approximately. And now remember, this makes more sense to me if I express this as a percentage here. So I'm going to move that decimal over and make that 1.5%. So Gabby pays 1.5% of her income to EI. Oh, now we're talking about Margot again. So Margot's gross pay for the month is $2,390. If she paid $212.14 in federal tax, what was her tax rate? Okay, well, so her tax rate here, let's say TR, is going to be, again, the deduction over the gross. So in this case, the deduction is $212.14 over her gross pay, $2,390. So on the calculator, $212.14 divided by $23.90. And I'm going to round that to, to the thousandth here. So zero point, so approximately 0 0.089. And if I write that again in as a percentage here, that'll be 8.9%. So 8.9% of her gross income goes towards federal tax.